Hello, and welcome to our lesson on converting between fractions, decimals, and percentages. So we have the fraction three tenths, and we're going to convert it to a percentage and a decimal using our place value table. So three tenths, you can see in our place value table, we have three tenths and zero units. We also have zero hundredths, and a percentage means a fraction over 100. So to convert it to a fraction of a 100, we can see we have 30 hundredths. We could also do this using equivalent fractions. We have 10 multiplied by 10 to make 100, and 3 times 10 to make 30. So 3 tenths is 30%. And by writing it in a place value table, you can see we've converted it to a decimal of 0.3. The fraction 7 over 50. The problem we have here is that our place value table doesn't work with 50ths, so we need to write it as a fraction which appears in our place value table, which is hundredths. So we need to write 7 50ths over 100. And to do this, we can multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, because 50 times 2 makes 100 and 7 times 2 is 14. So we have 0 units, 1 tenth, and 4 hundredths. So 7 fiftieths is 14% and 0.14. Do you want to try and convert 12 twenty-fifths and 1 fifth to a percentage and decimal by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. For question C, 12 25ths, we're going to write it as a fraction over 100. We're doing this by multiplying the 25 by 4. And to keep it equivalent, we do the same to the 12. And we have 48 over 100, which is 0 units, 4 tenths, and 8 hundredths, which is 48%. And as a decimal, 0. 0.48. And for question D, 1 fifth we can write as a fraction of a 10, which is 5 times 2, and 1 times 2, which is 2 tenths. So we have 0 units, 2 tenths, and 0 hundredths, which as a percentage is 20 over 100. And as a decimal, 0.2. Okay, let's try some more questions. So now we're going to convert these percentages to simplified fractions and decimals. We begin with 60%. We know percentage means a fraction of 100. So we have 60 over 100, which is 60 hundredths, and no units. So we know as a decimal, it is 0.6. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 10, because 10 is a factor of 60 and 100. So we have 6 over 10. And we can simplify it further by dividing both by 2. So we have 3 fifths. For 85%, we have 85 over 100, which is 0 units, 8 tenths, and 5 hundredths. So 0.85. And as a simplified fraction, we can divide the numerator and denominator by 5. 85 divided by 5 is 17. 100 divided by 5 is 20. And this is our simplified fraction. Do you want to try and convert 12% and 1% to a simplified fraction and decimal by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? For question C, 12% we know is 12 over 100, which is zero units, one tenth and two hundredths. So 0.12. And we can simplify the fraction by dividing both by two. So we have six fiftieths. We can divide by two again. So we have three twenty-fifths. And finally for question D, 1% is 1 over 100, which is no units, no tenths, one hundredth, 
as a decimal, 0 0.01. And it cannot be simplified any further. So again, 1 over 100. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.